We have breaking news. The Trump shooter has been identified. So we've been waiting for a while, but we now know the identity of the person. And if you guys want to see photos, um, I have the last couple videos I did, which I will have links so you can check them out. We have photos and uh, I believe we have a video of that person as well, but we actually have an identification. So we'll go ahead and jump into it. And guys, if you want to keep updated, just make sure and subscribe so I can keep you updated. We'll just go ahead and jump in. Um, so this is from Newsweek. It says, who is Thomas Matthew Cooks? What we know about Trump shooting suspect. Also guys, it's 1.30 in the morning right now for me. I just saw this. So sorry about my disheveled appearance. I was not planning on filming, but it is what it is. So I just want to get this information out to you. It says, the Federal Bureau of Investigation has named a 20-year-old Pennsylvania man as the subject involved in an assassination attempt on former U.S. President Donald Trump on Saturday. The FBI has identified Thomas Matthew Crooks, 20, of Bethel Park, Pennsylvania, as a subject involved in the assassination attempt of former President Donald Trump on July 13th in Butler, Pennsylvania. A Sunday morning statement said, this remains an active and ongoing investigation. Little else is known about Crooks at the time. A local media report indicates that Crooks graduated from Bethel High Park uh, in 2022. The FBI is a leading agency on the investigation working alongside the Secret Service and law enforcement. The former president and presumptive Republican nominee was attending a rally in Butler, Pennsylvania on Saturday when he was shot in his right ear on 6.15 p.m. local time. He was quickly seen with his face covered in blood as security agents descended. Trump repeatedly mouthed the words fight as he was rushed off the stage. That one I did not know. I know he was holding up his fist and doing this um, with blood coming down him, which was awful, uh, but didn't know he was saying fight. So um, I got to tell you, though, th those photos are going to be iconic. They already are iconic, but... The former president and presumptive Republican nominee was attending a rally in Butler, Pennsylvania on Saturday when he was shot in his right ear. I was shot with a bullet that pierced the upper part of my right ear, Trump said in a statement posted to Truth Social. I knew immediately that something was wrong when I heard a whizzing sound, shots, and immediately felt the bullet ripping through the skin. Guys, he was millimeters away from his life ending because they were going for a headshot. The Republican frontrunner for the presidential elections in November was taken to the hospital and has since been released to his home in New Jersey. A spokesperson for the Secret Service, which is working with the investigation with the FBI, said on Saturday that it had implemented protective measures and the former president is safe. The Secret Service said the shooter has been, his life has been ended by the agency and authorities said a rally goer has also no longer with us and two others are severely injured and all victims are described as adult males. The motive is not yet clear, law enforcement said. Pennsylvania police said there was no reason to believe there is any threat at this time. CBS News reported that Crooks had a rifle and had fired on the former president from a position of a couple of, of hundred feet away from the venue in Butler, citing anonymous law, force, uh, law enforcement sources. The shooter was identified through his DNA and he was not carrying any identification at the time, the FBI said. You could literally see him with a rifle, an eyewitness named as Greg told the BBC. He said that he and other rally attenders had notified Secret Service agents and that the man had been positioned on a nearby roof for several minutes after bear crawling before the shots rang out. President Joe Biden said he had been briefed on the shooting, adding in a statement that he was grateful to hear that Trump was well. There's no place for that kind of um, violence in America. We must unite to condemn it. And a similar response was issued by President Kamala Harris. I'm appalled by the, sh the shocking scenes as President Trump's rally as we send him and his family our best wishes, said British Prime Minister um, Keir Starmer. So we also have a little more information that I'll go over before I end the video. And it says, the FBI early on Sunday named Thomas Matthew Crooks, 20. I've seen Crooks and I've seen Cooks. So just heads up, I've seen both. Of Bethel Park, Pennsylvania, as the shooter in the assassination attempt of former President Donald Trump. They are investigating, um, it's the, the, sorry, it's, it's late for me, guys. The agency said the investigation remains active and ongoing. The police 
leanings of Crooks were not immediately clear. Records show Crooks was registered as a Republican voter in Pennsylvania, but federal campaign finance reports show that he gave $15 to a progressive political action committee on January 20th, 2021, the day President Joe Biden was sworn into office. So we also see here, just to give you a quick update on Trump, um, he has been seen for the first time and it says Trump lands in New Jersey, plans to spend the night at his private golf club, and Biden is back at the White House. Former President Donald Trump's private jet landed shortly after midnight Sunday at Newark Liberty International Airport. Video posted by an aide showed him departing, flanked by U.S. Secret Service agents and heavily armed members of the agency's counter-assault team, an unusually visible show of force by his protective detail. Trump planned to spend the night at his private golf club um, near Bedminster, New Jersey. Meanwhile, President Joe Biden arrived at the White House Sunday after cutting short a weekend trip to Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. Uh, the White House said they would receive a briefing from Homeland Security and law enforcement officials on the attempted assassination of Donald Trump in the morning. Um, Vice President Kamala Harris was to attend. So I have some thoughts. Um, I want to talk about this. First of all, I'm really upset. I started crying when I saw this. Um, I would be upset if it were Biden too. I've tried to say this and I, it's, I, I think a lot of people, not a lot of people, the people, there are people who are vocal, seem to have a hard time with what I'm about to say. And that is I don't lean any one political way, but I am absolutely against violence. And at this point, I do believe Trump is our best shot at leading this country at the moment because everyone else in politics is just too entrenched with lining their own pockets, both sides. I do not like both sides of the aisle. And this is one of the reasons why people like Trump. I also wanna say that there was a video floating around recently, um, and I think it went viral, of somebody on the left who was saying, we need to go ahead and get rid of Trump. It's time for an assassination. If we were gonna do it, now is the time, let's do it. And people were praising this video. Um, when I was growing up, the left were the kind, tolerant people. That's what they were. They were based off of tolerance. And while I understand we have had a very hostile nation in the past towards the LGBT, and I was a full supporter of the LGBT back then, I still am. The only thing I don't support is pushing trans on kids in terms of the surgeries because of what it can medically do to their bodies. But with saying that, I grew up as somebody who was very left and now I'm looked at as very right and I'm still the same person, which is interesting to me. Um, but when it comes to political leanings, when it comes to this sort of thing, I am upset because I feel like over the last 10 to 15 years, the left has become a party I don't recognize. I do not recognize this, this party that preached kindness and tolerance and love and acceptance of all people trying to push this rhetoric. Um, this is not okay. This is not the answer. And although uh, we've had reports that say this guy's Republican, but then we don't have yet that evidence, the shooter was Republican, um, we don't no. And I've also heard some people saying, well, it's because of Trump's rhetoric. Something like this was bound to happen. It's not Trump's rhetoric. Anybody with common sense, when you listen to what Trump actually says, Trump is constantly taken out of context by the media. The media is the one doing this, but I want you to think about this. I'm somebody I have a hard time believing in coincidences. Isn't it interesting? Isn't it interesting that suddenly all the news about Biden and all of his dumb gaffes have stopped and come to a standstill. And now it makes President Biden look a little bit like a hero that he's reaching out to Trump and he's doing everything he can when he and his people and the left are the ones who have been trying to imprison their political opponent over nothingness, over abs. I mean, the fact is the stuff that they're getting him for is inconsequential. It's nothing which means they have nothing on him. And I think that Biden has done such a poor job at what's going on that the evil people that are in power decided, well, we can't win, so we might as well take him out. But I want you to think about this. How powerful are the amazing, wonderful, beautiful things about to come to this world that are being protected if the bad evil is fighting back this bad? As bad and as dark as things look, good things are coming. And think about this. I am somebody who is very, very highly spiritual. 
that dictates everything I do. It, take, it dictates this channel. It takes a lot for me to come out and say, not only do I believe in aliens, I believe I communicate and work with them as do many people and talk about what I see and what I feel going on. And what I want you guys to know is no matter how chaotic things look, whatever you want to call God, source, the universe, the divine energy, it is working in our best and highest good. Trump was millimeters away from no longer being with us, millimeters away from having his head blown off something was protecting him. How many times have you been in a situation where something is protecting you? And many times when you are called to stand up and do the right thing in the face of extreme evil, in the face of your life ending, you will have this unseen, beautiful force of protection that is around you if you are trying to do what's right for the best and highest good of yourself and those around you. And I think this should be a testament to the term faith. And I don't just mean blind faith, even though that can be that in the religious sense. I mean faith of creating the re best and highest reality by literally holding the vision, holding the thoughts, doing the actions and watching your world create around you, no matter what the circumstances or obstacles that get in your way, the obstacles are there to teach us. And I'm so grateful for this experience. And I'm so grateful that we have somebody like Trump that was strong enough to go through this, to show us how to have resolve and how to be strong. This man got shot and put up his fist and told everybody to fight. He wasn't the only thing he was concerned about was when they were trying to take him away, I did hear him say twice, get my shoes, get my shoes. Otherwise, he was concerned about the American people. I have even deeper respect for him. So I'm going to keep you guys updated. If you want these updates, make sure and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.